Give me I haven't pee. slept <laughs> in days. I've been waiting all NBA season for this week. And it feels like the NBA just started, doesn't it? It yes. feels crazy. It feels like it just started coming. Um, but I mean, you might be surprised to know that the NBA now has been a I mean, we're almost a week into the season. So that means it's time for the NBA in-season tournament, Jake. Yes, the moment we have all been waiting for all month of November, starting on Friday when you're listening to this. Friday, the NBA in-season tournament already begins. And I think it's a good time for us to answer the question, Jake. What is the NBA in-season tournament? Why do we care about the NBA in-season tournament? That's probably probably the biggest question everyone's wondering. And just how does it work? So I'm just going to go over it once more for the people who don't know. And Jake, ask questions along the way because I think we yes. you're, you're going to be a good uh, audience here to, to ask me the questions everyone's actually wondering. So let's again. The inaugural NBA in-season tournament. Don't call it the preseason tournament because it's starting on Friday, November 3rd. It goes until December 9th, which is a Saturday. And that's going to be very exciting. All 30 teams were randomly drawn, put into groups, six groups um, of five, obviously, according to their win-loss record from last year. Um, Beginning on... Uh, Like I said, Friday, there's going to be group play that starts. Everyone's going to play each person in their group once. Games are going to be on Tuesdays and Fridays, which is awesome. Very good. Eight teams will advance to the knockout round, Jake. Eight teams. The team with the best standing in each group. And the two teams that have the best record that finish second. Those Mm -hmm. are the wild cards, okay? Always watch out for the wild cards. And then at that point, the knockout rounds will be single elimination. The quarterfinals are going to be played in each team's NBA markets. The higher team on uh, the quarterfinals are Monday, December 4th, Tuesday, December 5th. The semifinals will then be the next week on Monday. And then the championship is going to be on Tuesday. I'm jacked. I can tell you're jacked. Any questions yet? Are you following so far? I am. I have a schedule clarification question. So when does the pool play stop? When's that line? That's a, that's a very good question. Uh, so the group stage ends. Um, well, the knockout round will begin. The first quarterfinals will be Monday, December 4th. So okay. that's, it might be a little confusing because NBA and myself have just talked about how all November long is the tournament. And actually... December on Monday and Tuesday are going to be the quarterfinals. And I know I'm going to be watching except, well, Monday, that first quarterfinals game. I mean, the Bengals and Jaguars play Monday Night Football. Go Cats. That's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tough one for the NBA, I think. I I don't know who's going to be in (laughs) the quarterfinals, but this is a big deal. And I will say, Jake, so every game across all of these um, across the entire tournament, group stage, knockout stage is going to count against the team's final record at the end of the year. Okay. Except the championship game, that one does not count. So uh, the teams that are in the championship game will be playing 83 games this year. That's fine. It's okay. Don't, don't even worry about it. There's no reason for that one to count. The biggest game of the year doesn't count, but that's fine. I also, my favorite part about this tournament, Zach, if you're paying attention to home, we're going to get an anti-tournament, and we get to tell at home what's better. Because what we're going to get, Zach, is those eight teams, after our group play, they continue on, right? The rest of the teams keep playing. Yes, that's a very important uh, distinction here. So after the group play ends, trims to eight, And then there's going to be some mathematical configuration here to match up the rest of the teams who will just continue with their regular season. Um, I believe there's going to be two teams that have to play cross-conference, but it's going to be, you know, in-conference games. So Eastern Conference plays Eastern Conference, regular NBA games. And then when you get knocked out of the group stage or the knockout round, 
you also will just keep playing games. So it is a win or keep playing type of tournament, which is also fun. You win, you keep going. You lose, you play more games that are arguably the same, but we don't know that. We don't know that. So like I said, December 4th, the very first quarterfinal game, Bengals Jaguars do play on Monday Night Football. That's a little tough one. The semifinals will be December 7th. And again, Patriots and Steelers will be playing that night. And that's a slobber knocker. I'm going to have to be doing it for that one. Not a lot of points, but that's fine. Um, this does feel like the NBA sort of retaliating because the NFL started to put games on Christmas. And I feel like the NBA is like, oh, you, you took Christmas from us? We're going to take Mondays and Thursdays from you when it matters most. And <laughs> I'm not sure if that's going to work. I don't I don't know about you. I th- So, but again, okay. So this is the in-season tournament, Jake. It's something everyone's been wanting. Something I've been waiting all NBA season for. And I just need to remind everybody because this is going to be tough to follow. Tuesdays and Fridays are tournament days in November. Mm-hmm. There's going to be games every other night as well. Those are <laughs> yeah, not yeah, tournament yeah. games, okay? No. That could be fun. Can I give you a real thing? The only – here's what I need you to do, coaches, to make me care about this. If I see one fucking coach rest people during the tournament, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, rest them the other games. That's all I – pop, pop. I'm, I'm looking at you. Don't do it. You're going to play everybody in the random Wednesday game. Don't do it. I mean, this is this has to be a talk Adam Silver, Silver's already had. Like, we yeah. are not resting guys on this day, these days. Just do whatever the hell you want. And you know what? To make these tournament days more special, Jake, two games every single tournament day will be broadcasted on a national television channel. That's huge. Two. Instead of one. Yeah, that's right. First day, Friday, kicks off. Knicks versus Bucks. That's the first tournament game on national Mm. television. That's huge. That's huge. In Milwaukee, contemplating going and losing my fucking mind. The second one is Mavs Nuggets. And boy. That is that's going to be a huge one considering everything we've seen so far this season, Jake. We've seen the Mavericks start out hot, but the Nuggets have picked up right where they left off. They're undefeated still. That's right. And it's no team in NBA history. And you can look back. No team has ever been undefeated going into the in-season tournament and the Nuggets have the chance to do that. They do. They do, Zach. Uh, I want one thing to happen. I want Jokic to win this tournament. Mm. And boy, won't he care. I need him holding a cup, uh, drinking out of it, but not like cool drinking, but like sipping. Has anyone ever sipped out of a trophy before? I want Jokic to. Don't call it a trophy. It's the NBA Cup. And this is another point I would like to bring up, Jake, because I think it's misnamed. Like we look at the NBA National Basketball Association. That's also misnamed. We have a team in Toronto. This is a world league. I think this should be called the World, world Cup. Cup. That's very good. This is the World Cup. This is. This is the World Cup. And I think everyone needs to be talking about it as such. The Pistons it, could it win is, the World Cup. Yeah. I already put a bet in for the Pacers to win the World Cup. I think they're very sneaky. All right. Is well, they are sneaky. <laughs> they are sneaky. Yeah. You're right. In an Indiana sort of way, um, the sense that if I had to name all 30 teams, I think they'd sneak up on me. Um, but True. here's my question: yeah. Are we yeah. past the overview enough now that we can get into the groups? Oh, Jake, let's get into the groups. So, like I said, six. Oh, hold groups. on, as you pull that up, I want to address the people super quick. Okay. Lean in, everybody. Flurry Sports mm-hmm. Nation. The Flurries. Lean in. This is our tournament, okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We know. We know. What you're th- we get it. We know. 
this is it. Buy in. Run with it. Like, yeah. have some fun. You don't think we're booking this fucking thing? Wrong. Oh. We're hey. in. Well, by the way, Jake, I found out as recently as we've been recording for 32 minutes, like 45 minutes ago, there is more than just a winner of the World Cup. There's going to be a World Cup MVP, and then there's an all-tournament team. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, a couple years ago, we did all the math needed to name the yeah. true MVP, the true <laughs> NBA champion. And we kind of need to figure out what we, we're going to do here. But we're, we got we have our own World Cup MVP, obviously, and World Cup, all World Cup yeah. team. We, we got that. We, we're Who for sure going to do that. Do we want, who's the perfect player to like just own the cup? Like they only play good here. <laughs> like this is their, you don't want to you know, play Udonis Haslam in the cup. Well, like, you know who I, I legitimately, before the season started, which it feels like forever ago, it may have been last week. Who knows? But I legitimately put a bet on the Pacers to win the World Cup, and I bet on Tyrese Halliburton to win the fucking MVP. <laughs> and I think he can do it. I uh, That's not bad. He's pretty good. I, right now, am on such a Zion Williamson kick. Ooh, I like, that would be wa- huge. I want him to go nuts, and this is all he cares about, is this yeah. tourney. This cup. That's- I mean, this is kind of built for Zion. Like, remember the burst of energy. (laughs) The burst of energy. Like, remember the the COVID year? They let in those other teams just so Zion would make it into the fucking bubble. Yeah. And then he didn't play. And then ever since then, he's just been so out of shape and injured and all that, and he's not playing. So they're like, okay, let's make an in-season tournament. It can't be too far into the year because he's going to get fucking hurt. Let's make it the very first week. We'll call it the in-season tournament. And this kind of is Zion's. That's a good call. This is sort of Zion's tournament here. I like that. I think it's good. He faces one of the tougher groups, dare I say, Jake. Um, I think it's fair to say that is true. (laughs) I was going to say it's the group of death. It's not the group of death. Uh, there's, there's a couple groups of death here. That's hey, that's what the World Cup brings you. And there is one group of life. One of these groups is much easier than the others. Let's see if we agree on which one. <laughs> you you can choose at home. Okay, so let's start with West A. West A is going to be the Grizzlies, the Suns, the Lakers, the Blazers, and the Jazz. West B is the Nuggets, the Mavs, the Clippers, the Rockets, and Zion's Pelicans. That's a tough one. West C, we got the Kings, the Warriors, the T-Wolves, the Spurs, and the Thunder. Definitely some young, good players there. East A, sort of a tough one here. We got the 76ers. We got the Cavs. We got Hawks, the Pacers, and the Pistons. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Interesting one. East B, we got the Bucks, the Heat. And then uh, Knicks, Wizards are still an NBA team, and the Hornets. And then East C. The group the of Celtics. life. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're good. The Celtics, the Raptors, the Nets, the Bulls, who have already had a players only meeting after the very first game of the season, <laughs> and the Magic. That um, group sucks. That yeah. group sucks so hard. Yeah. Like, if you are wanting to bet on any bet for the NBA in season tournament, aka the World Cup, you can bet on which team wins each group. You can put your life savings on the Celtics. <laughs> My lungs on the Celtics, dude. Yeah, there's there's nothing else. There's nobody else there. It'd be fun if they lost, though. I, no. I can't even make a prediction who would win, though. Like, everyone else is so bad. I Yeah, I don't know. And easily the second best one in that group is the Nets. I don't think there's the maybe the Magic. I don't think there's an, an answer. I really I take don't. it back. I forgot where people were on the Nets. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. They're not the easily second best team. Um, I forgot all of a sudden I'm like Durant's a son. No. Um, so yeah. yeah. 
I listen, I'm excited for this tournament so so much. I already have a critique, which is really okay. Let's hear it. I have a few, but here's the only one that I care about for now because I am in on this tournament. Pep talk still stands. This you didn't have to do east and west. <laughs> this is the one you <laughs> didn't have true. to do it. We get that all the time. That's such a good point. Yeah, they shouldn't have. This I would wanted have been way better. Six random ass groups. <sighs> I'm sorry That's to point that point. out already. NBA, NBA. This is not too late unless you've already scheduled it. Don't tell me you scheduled it. Um, don't give me, don't give me the winners of this is what I don't need. Don't give me West and East in the knockout round. You can still save this, like mix them up there. That's what I need. Oh, no, it's not. It's like the finals <sighs> is East versus West. Why? Scheduling? They all play each other anyway. No. I mean, true, truly, what it seems like the only reason for that is, it's a signing, and for whatever reason, there it feels like from what I've read, they're really locked into this small detail. They really want conference to play itself after a group play ends, when they have to reschedule those regular season games. They really want the conference to play itself. And I would argue why. <laughs> Does it like for heaven to bids, don't let the Bucks play the T Wolves. What are we doing? No. Like someone's got to still play Toronto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it makes truthfully, it makes no sense. It really does make no sense. And since there's almost no incentive to, Dare I say, win the World Cup? <laughs> oh. No, 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 Zach. Oh. It's a pride. It's a fucking World Cup. We're okay. That's uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Also, I'm not sure if they've announced who the trophies are named after. I. Who do we want it to be? To... Ooh, fun, 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 fun. Who do we want well, it there's... to be? And why is it to Kembe Mutombo? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So there's the obviously the the World Cup itself, and yeah. then there's the 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 MVP. Yeah. So who is who is a player who starts the seasons hot and then they notably always died down? Because that's who the MVP should be, right? Chris Paul. Chris Paul's not bad. <laughs> it's funny that he's still there. That's not bad. Chris Paul's not bad at <laughs> well, all. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not a very historical NBA fan, so well, immediately I Steve- went, Chris Paul, Paul George. <laughs> <It's> like- <laughs> that's true. Steve Nash, maybe? Oh, Steve Nash. <laughs> Steve Nash is very good. Um, historically, um, uh, oh, Carl Malone. Maybe. Maybe. I feel like we're just kind of thinking of players who were great, but then just choked at the end. <laughs> yes. Who? Like in the yeah, playoffs. So. 100%. But I want to think even, I want to even shorten it. I want to be like first half of the year, they were great. And Vlade then second Divac. half. <laughs> Maybe Pedro Stoyakovich. That would be a fun one. Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin's great. That would be very fun. Bring in the international audience too. I mean, yeah, that Pedro Stoyakovich doesn't, I suppose. But <laughs> yeah, Vlade. We named a lot of international guys there. Um, no, that would be good because I'm trying to think. I mean, yeah, historically, I would have to do some looking of like reputation for like. God, right. he's good for some regular season games. Um, J.R. Smith. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Um, yeah, I can't. Oh, Tyson that. Chandler. <laughs> I love Tyson Chandler, man. <laughs> no, he's a champion. He never a champion. did a goddamn thing in important games. Him no, and, no. oh, who? He might still be playing, too. I think he still is. That big pricker who played with the Pistons for years. Big big center played like three years ago Drummond? for him. Andre Drummond. He's a bull. He's, He's a, bull a bull right now. Name it after Andre Drummond. That's fun. Or Rudy Gay. <laughs> still playing. Rudy Gay. He's still playing. Yeah. I think he's with the Utah. Oh, right oh, or our favorite NBA player. Um, the guy who punched a ref, uh Carlos Boozer. Carlos Boozer is a great one. Love Carlos Boozer. Carlos Boozer or Devin Williams. Hmm. D- Darren Williams, you're thinking. Mm, 
True. Devin Harris. So, ah. Some more players. There you go. We, let us know. Let us know. There has to, there is a player who historically is like, hey, coming out of the gates hot, but then we're gonna we're gonna start fucking sh- maybe Tracy McGrady. Yeah, well, it's like you can find some injury guys. Like Tracy McGrady is a good one for sure. that because it's like he would just never make it. Um, Andrew, so that's Bogut. good. <laughs> Andrew Bogut. I did think of Andrew Bogut because I always do. I also thought of Pau Gasol. <laughs> True. Is Marcus Soul still playing? I don't think so, right? I don't know. Oh, uh, Villanueva? Ugh, no. Keep, <laughs> keep him away. Oh, you know who deserves a trophy? Don't name it after one of them, but name it after a, <laughs> it's the Plumlee Trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that could be the all uh, tournament team. <laughs> it's the Plumlee the team. Plumlee. Yeah, the Plumlee family. Um, I think the cup itself for like it should be named after someone who just goes crazy in short bursts, but like oh, not when it matters. Mike D'Antoni. Oh, Mike D'Antoni should get one. I was thinking James Harden. Oh no, it's got to be a coach because the the cup itself has to be a coach. Has to. Oh, be. Mike D'Antoni or Van Gundy. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Just keep it simple. Just Van Gundy. Um, I want the trophy to be him getting drug around by Alonzo Mourning. So I want it to be <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I prefer Stan. I, but, you know, I'd love a Stan Van Gundy trophy. And then maybe the MVP is Dwight. Dwight. Ugh. No, no, no. We, we need to forget about recently. Dwight. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. <laughs> Google that. Um, but. Any any final questions do you have about the NBA Cup? Do you want to know uh, the prizing? I w- I do want to know the prizing. It's a it's a pretty big deal. Um. So, do you remember when we were kids? Maybe like elementary school. Remember those like pieces of cardboard that like gave you like a free McDonald's cheeseburger? Yeah. I think the winners get about fourteen of those. Which is actually kind of cool. Um, no, so players on the team that wins the championship, Jake, get a half mil each. That's not bad. That's not bad for a preseason tournament. Players on the team that loses the championship get 200K each. Okay. Goes downhill from there. <laughs> players who lose in the semifinals get 100K each. So we're talking about two teams, obviously. Players get 100K each. And then players on the team that loses in the quarterfinals, that just means you make it to the knockout round, you lose. They get 50K each. No reason. We also have to remember, though, for the teams that make it to the championship game. So the winners get 500K. The losers get 200K. And this is in place of a game check. (laughs) 100%. 100%. Because it doesn't count against the regular season. That's so dumb. Give them something (laughs) else. Okay, NBA in the meantime. I still like my idea that you automatically get a lotto pick. I think that's so funny. A lot of a lotto pick like for the draft? Yeah. I think you are you win the tournament, you're automatically a lottery team. That is not yeah. You're either locked in the place you get. So, like, let's say a bad team wins it. You know, my hopes and dreams. Like, let's say your Pacers win it. And let's say they're a lottery team naturally. Let's say they're going to be their, – their, you know, rating would be the eighth seed if it wasn't a lottery. I think sure. that locks them in. So, the worst they could do is eight. I, I like it from a fan perspective. What 100%. I will say, what I will say, do the players care about that? I would argue no, it, because the players switch teams so much. Who I cares? would argue no also, which is why they get to attend the lottery. Ooh, that's <laughs> kind of fun. That's a good one. Nice. Or they um, all get lotto tickets. That's, hey, that that's how they should advertise this. This win in the world cup could be four four billion dollars if you play your cards right true or your tickets right 
I think it should just be an automatic bid to the playoffs. I think that's so much fun. Like you can just check out the rest of the way if you want, or at least like the minimum is you lock up a play in game. Oh my God. The NBA finally has a Royal rumble. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. I think that's so fun. And I think there's some dangerous consequences. Like if you thought they sure. weren't playing before, I could see that. That's a possibility. <laughs> but that's what they're doing now. That doesn't make anything worse. That's, that's true. fun. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. I think it's in. I want to close with fantasy booking this tournament. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Group by group. Okay. Who do you want okay. to win the groups? Gr- West A. Follow along at home. We already went over the teams. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know it. You know it. West A. Some tough ones there. I want to see Portland win. I have an affinity for this Utah group, and I can't explain it. They're not good, but they're <laughs> interesting. I don't know what they're doing. And I think Kelly Olenek is another sleeper. Could Kelly Olenek be catch fire in the World mm. Cup? I, I just want this to be where we get our weird Portland Dame matchup. That'd be such a fun, like, or would, the Bucks just don't win it. And then the Trailblazers are like, see? <laughs> we yeah. want be fun. Just a little thing for them. So I'm ruined for them, but yeah. I like your pick more. Uh, West B, I'm of course picking the Nuggets. The Nuggets? We don't, we don't want it to be a Zion thing? Well, I want it to be a Zion. I think Zion whoops this group. I think that's his story. I think... He dominates this tourney, and it doesn't matter because Jokic is on the Nuggets. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. No, you're right. You're right. I switched where I was doing halfway through. Fantasy booking. I want it to be Zion. I want Zion to come out of this group. I'm going to agree with you. I will say, and I've talked to Luke about this going back to last year. If you don't watch the NBA, that's fine. I, I mean, that was me last year. The most fun team in the NBA to watch, in my opinion, is the Rockets. And they're in this group. Mm. If you want to pick a team just to be a fan of, just for fun, and have no hard feelings if they lose, because they're going to lose a lot, cheer for the Rockets. I think they, they're they just a fun team. I like it. But yeah, let's get the Pelicans and Zion winning. I think that's interesting. I'm sensing a pattern of no good teams, but I love that for this <laughs> tournament. I think that's, that's so true. funny. That's what I want to happen. West C, dude, give me the Spurs. Give me, okay. let this be a Webinyama extravaganza. <laughs> that kind of rhymes. I, By the way, I'm a little into the NBA now because we had such an anti Webinyama push over the summer of people being like, he's not that good. Oh, he is he's yeah. tall. And now the first week people being like, fuck, he's tall. Yeah, dude. Like, the, no one did the <laughs> math. Like, they're like, he can make Euro steps from the free throw line. Yeah, he's a freak. He's yeah. so big. <laughs> and, and the people who haven't watched, he's seven four, I believe. The thing is with him is he just he moves well. Usually you yeah. get above seven foot and you can't fucking move. He can he can run. It's no, pretty slender man out there. Uh, I'm going perfect. for them, but also I'm just gonna plug because you mentioned it and my brain immediately went to this team. I I love watching the Thunder. I like the Thunder too. They're so fun, so young. That's like, if I was going to really get in the NBA, I think I'd get behind them. They have, very quick side note, they still have a million draft picks. Like, theoretically, (laughs) theoretically, if their young guys are good, which it seems like they are, they should be able to trade all of these picks for players who we already know are good and then create a good team. But it feels like they don't want to do that for some reason. I know. I I give them one more year, and I feel like they have to like. I don't know if they want to because I don't know if they have confidence they can lock their current guys up. That's like what I'm sensing, but maybe I'm wrong. But um, that this, said, this, for this tournament, please give me Popovich having to play in this tournament longer. That's true. He'll he'll hate it. Um, th- this is a very winnable group, and another sneaky MVP pick would if the Thunder go on a run. Shea Gilgis Alexander is very yes. good at basketball. He's like very good. If, if his team was good, he'd be in the MVP talk. Yeah. Of like the league, not just the World Cup. Correct. Okay, so East A. What are you thinking for? 
uh, East A, an interesting little uh, group here. Um, this might be the first one where I'm going to pick like a pretty good team. I, I can't listen ever since he had to suffer Rudy Gobert. I, I love me some Donovan Mitchell. I'm going Cleveland. I think that'd I like be Donovan fun. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And they're a good team. They're a good team. Uh, yeah. and I'm rooting against the Sixers and I feel like they're built for a tournament, dude. They're built for the cup. They are that that's a team legitimately could win the whole thing. Pacers, I said it as a joke, but like I said, I, I bet on them before the tournament, before the league started. Pacers threw three, two or three games so far this year. Highest scoring team in the league. So, never know. Never know. They also got Buddy Heald still. Gotta watch out for Buddy Heald. <laughs> East B. Which team do you want to win this if we're booking it? I can tell for you what I think is going to happen, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for storyline purposes, Knicks. Okay. I mean, the, the Knicks team- winning a lot in this tournament automatically makes the tournament more talked about. I don't oh, like sure. that that's the truth, but like Knicks fans the rest of the year, if they won this goddamn thing, would be like, <laughs> that so tournament funny. means something. They were like, be all into it so i i am rooting for teams who like will care about this and teams who very much won't go spurs so i think the the knicks would be awesome and they're not bad so and i think the heat and bucks take each other out true true like in my mind what i think is gonna happen i feel like bucks beat the heat all bucks fans are like hey Told you we got the Heat's number. Heat, Heat are going to beat the Bucks in the playoffs. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, but I don't think they have names for the trophies yet, and it feels very, 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 very fitting if the Knicks win the whole thing and they name the cup after Thibodeau, because this oh. is his type of trophy and his type of tor- tournament. To be honest, he's going <laughs> to run his guys forty-five minutes per game in this fucking tournament. Dude, you just put a TH on the front of that tournament. Don't think I didn't get you a Tom Thibodeau tournament. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it, dude. Um, but no, I'm, I, that's very them. I like that a lot. Uh, I kind of want the Bucks not to. I like your story. I like the Bucks not advancing for my Pacer or for my Trailblazers thing. And then they're like, see? Sure. I like, I like it too. So East C. Do we want the Celtics to lose here? A hundred percent we want the Celtics to lose. We don't want the Celtics to win this goddamn thing. Um, Do we want Ben Simmons to turn it on a little bit with the Nets? That's fine. Okay, think of who we got. It's Cleveland and New York. We want... Oh, could you um, imagine if... Okay, so let's just say... We got to remember there's a wild card, right? (laughs) You got to watch out for the wild card. Yeah. The Nets feel like a wild card team. The if Nets what if, do feel like a wild card team. True. What if they're the wild card team and they have to go and play Philadelphia? And ben I hadn't Simmons thought about matchups. Yeah. For matchups, I would pick this tournament differently if I was doing matchups. Um, Nets, Sixers. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to pick it the way I have, and then we'll do that super, super fast because that's the more fun way to do it. Uh, I think for winning this one, I want the Bulls to win it. That's fair. I'm I'm cool with that. That's fun. Dunk on everybody. <laughs> White chocolate. Mark DeRozan's going to fucking mid-range everybody to death. That's true. Um, uh, okay, let's do like a four and four on each side for actual matchups. Um, I'll go super fast on the West. For actual matchups, like a wild card that would be fun. I'll say a fun wild card if we're doing it that way would be the Pelicans. Mm, Um, So let's say the Pelicans are the wild card. And I want them to immediately uh, match up against the number one seed. Uh, Let's do Lakers. Yeah, I think so. Yep. So I think that's the matchup there. And then I think you get the mid-card matchup then of uh, – I think Nuggets-Spurs is super fun. Like a little 
future, present kind of thing. So I'll go there for the West. Do you have any? Yeah, I think that's the West. And then on the mm-hmm. East, I'm with you that I think the Sixers win there. So you can do uh, Sixers, Nets. Somehow the Sixers, let's say, get the one seed, I guess. So, okay, it's Sixers, right. Nets. Yeah. James Harden comes back and is the savior of the, yeah. of the Sixers. That could and work. then, well, if we're going to do that and someone else has to win the East, I'm or EC, uh, you know, the group, uh, I think that means let's assume it's the Celtics. Then I want, uh, uh, well, I don't know, Celtics Heat is the story, but I want Celtics Knicks. Well, there, you could you could connect the dots for a bunch of them. You, you got true Celtics, Celtics Bucks, Bucks, Celtics Knicks, Celtics Heat. All works true. Right? Yeah. There's there's plenty of shit there. Truthfully, like they just can't play the Hornets or the Wizards, and they won't. So it's okay. I think you said so. Lizards. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna Wizards with that L. You know. Um, yeah. I'm I'm gonna go Knicks because I want Knicks to beat the Celtics, and of course I want the Nets to beat the Sixers. So we got. A New York matchup that worked out. We got Knicks mm-hmm. and Nets uh, on the West side. That is cool. um, I want. Uh, it feels like the story there would be um, Pelicans beat Lakers, and we get a uh, a Pelicans. Uh, do you do Pelicans Nuggets or Pelicans Spurs? I mean. Truthfully, like I don't think Pelicans are connected to either, so it would make you could draw some sort of. Do you do Zion Jokic or Zion Webinyama? Yeah. Well, well, no. What? Well, what you do is to build the World Cup hype and makes this the most watched tournament in the world. The Nuggets beat the Pelicans to win West B, but now they have to do it again. Can you beat the Pelicans twice? That's what makes that dangerous. That's a that's a semifinals. Worth watching unless it's on Monday yeah. Night Football, you know? And then, I think because it's a tournament, you, the Pelicans win. And you plant those seeds to the Pelicans. Do they have the Nuggets number? That's a fun story for the rest of the year. The only <laughs> team that can beat the Nuggets is the fucking Pelicans. That's yeah. super funny. Um, so then we get um, uh, we get Pelicans. Pelicans uh, Knicks. We, and the Knicks win, and it's the most prestigious tournament of all time. Or what's actually going to happen, and the Pelicans don't beat the Lakers. They win. They play the Knicks in this goddamn final. Um, and then LeBron wins a tournament that doesn't matter. Um, but That feels unfortunately accurate. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then all season we're like, can LeBron beat the Nuggets again? And then we have to do that. But what I want at that point – Give me like a Zion. This is Zion's tournament. That's very fun against the Knicks. That's cool. Yeah, I think Coach K's be... there. Right. <laughs> I'm. I mean, that West B is stacked because you could make yeah. everything we're talking about with Zion. You can make the exact same case with Luca. Yes, or you know what team is like kind of built for this tourney in a way because it's garbage time of the season and this doesn't matter. The Clippers. I would, a lot of people (laughs) hate this guy. A lot of people who work with at Flurry Sports who listen to this hate this guy. I would love this to be the Russell Westbrook show. I would fucking love, I love Russell Westbrook, dude. He's he's the man. Is he great at basketball? I'm not saying that, but he's going to out hustle fucking everybody on the court. And also I'm excited to see where Carmelo Anthony signs for the tournament. I feel like that could be a landing spot for Carmelo. Oh, you know where I want him to go? I I want him to go somewhere in EC. I I want him to go to, like, Chicago or Orlando. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. But there's your tournament breakdown. I hope you liked it, folks, because we're a tournament pod. We are a tournament pod, and you can bet that we will be covering Oh, he might go to the Magic. Cole Anthony's on there. Yeah, Cole, who's the real C. Anthony, just to confuse yeah. everybody. That could be good. That could be good. But yeah, we will be covering the in-season tournament, the World Cup, with enthusiasm, with journalistic integrity, with some weird stat that 
determines it all for me, there's going to be a lot. So, you know, perk up a little bit. It's fucking <laughs> November. And the best basketball is played in November. We all know that. 